Hello everyone, my name's Zombie TK Baja for Simple Minds. I am bringing you on the Rainslick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 1. Uh, we're going to start a new game and uh, do a playthrough. It's going to take several parts. This will be part one, just the beginning, show you character creation and so on and so forth. But let us begin. Four gods wait on the windowsill, where once eight gods did war and will. And if the gods themselves may die, what does that say for you and I? <laughs> Scary. That was the opening on other parts I won't bother showing it to you again because there's really no need. Uh, as you can see, I've unlocked insane mode because I have gone through the game once. But we're going to start a new game so I can show you all the different parts of this game, including character creation. This is the character creation screen. Uh, your choices are limited, but it's still a lot of fun because you're creating who you want to play. You can choose either male or female. The choice is yours. I prefer male. Body shape, you can have plain, muscular, or overweight. Let's go muscular, shall we? And on the head, you can have a wide, narrow, medium, Let's go narrow. And on the face, uh, hairstyles, you have separate different styles of hair. I'll show them all to you. You can even have hats if you like, or be bald. We're gonna go with that hairstyle. I happen to like that. Eyebrows, you have narrow, bushy, looking mad. Oh, I like that style. Eyes. You have them wide. Whatever you want. We're going to go with that style. Glasses. Choices if you want them or not. Nose. They can be, it can be as wide as you like. Let's go with a wide nose. And the mouth. Several different choices. I'm going to go with the goatee. Because I always like goatees. Then you pick your clothes. For the coat and shirt, I do like the blue with the striped vest, but let me show you some of the other options. Pants, you have three options. We're going to go with those pants. On the shoes, I believe it's three options. Yes, I'm right. And those shoes. Gloves, you can have them or not. We're going to go with gloves. I mean without gloves, excuse me. And then you name your character. We're going to call this character, if I can spell it correctly, Wilbur, because why not? Now when you're ready, you click Accept, and you wait a moment as the game loads, and it begins. I really enjoyed playing through this game. Uh, I hope you folks will enjoy what I'm going to do. Uh, basically, it's a walkthrough showing you the different parts of the game. And there we are. The 
the sun rises over your perfect life, in your perfect neighborhood, on this perfect morning, in the mostly perfect burg of New Arcadia. I say mostly perfect because from the edge of the city to its black heart, it pulses with evil. But we may be getting ahead of ourselves. I am here to guide you through this corrupted suburbia. While we surmount these challenges, do not dwell on my mysterious identity. It will only distract you from the task at hand. You're dwelling on it, aren't you? I urge you, do not. Your life and the lives of others may well depend upon it. Now then, I, um... <clears throat> Forgive me. I'm afraid that I cannot concentrate with your lawn in such... in such... disarray. Please, pay me this small kindness. Take up yon rake and bring these grounds in line with civilization. I beg you. Now this game is a, a point-and-click style. He wants us to pick up our rake. There's the rake. Yay! And there are the leaves he wants us to clean up. Beautiful day for yard work. A light breeze. than I imagined. I thought we had all afternoon, at least. We're even going to go windsurf, weather permitting. There is no time to mourn, however. We must direct ourselves toward more useful endeavors. For example, that was a rather large robot. And it was being followed by two strange men. Let us chart the winding course of our destiny. What say you? I'm going to pick uh, the gentle, so we can I can really show you what this game has to offer. Uh, you, you, when you buy it and play it yourself, you can pick whatever difficulty you like. But like I said, I'm going to go gentle and enjoy. That's the spirit! Onward! Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of... the dogs of... I know this. Cry havoc and then you do something to s some kind of dog. Curses. Well, we best be on our way. I'm sure it will come to me eventually. Now, just a quick warning. This game does have profanity. Let me point out what I mean. We're going to click on this guy. Oops. So if that tends to bother you, you may not want to watch the rest. And you can click around and see what's going on. To move, you just click on the map. Or well, click on the screen. Bam. Ooh, what's in here? Concept art. Very nice. These hold things that you absolutely need these chests. So, let's take care of it, shall we? Now, I'm going to get you through one battle and end this part. We will meet the strange men uh, at another part, I'm sure, probably the next one. Take heed, pupil. 
These creatures are a recent phenomenon in new Arcadia. Their carnal appetite for fresh fruit drives them to tiny acts of vulgarity. Something for the people who read binary. Uh oh. And this is a basic attack. To use it, you click on that and click on the target. Now, to block their attacks, you use the space bar. Now well, I got a partial block at least. about the uh, weapon upgrades as we get deeper into the game, trust me. Alright, we're going to do a quick save here with the Control S. The game has been saved. And uh, we'll continue on on the next part. This is Zombie TK Baja, wishing you a wonderful day. And uh, until next time, see you then.